Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm back, and today, uh, as you can probably see from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be making a video on how to play Kisuke in Anime Battle Arena, of course, because you can probably tell from the title and thumbnail. Um, but yeah, uh, by the way, a lot of people saying like, oh, I thought you quit making content. It kind of, so I used to make like, uh, two videos a day on Anime Battle Arena, and people were wondering why I didn't upload Anime Battle Arena for like six months, seven months, and I just told them why. I 100% quit the game, like I'm rank 71 now, I actually only lost twice on my way to rank 71, so, you know, I guess the people of the game got a bit worse, but that's fine, uh, so, I didn't 100% quit quit it, but I'm just saying that's why I'm not going to be making daily content or content. I'm not going to milk this game for content or anything, because I don't enjoy the game as much as I used to. Um, but yeah. So, now actually getting into the video. Uh, how do you play Kisuke? As you see, I'm a gold Kisuke. He's my main. Uh, as I said, I got to rank 71 just with him, and I only lost twice. One, there was because there was a rank. Uh, he was like he was like rank like like 60. Like, I was ranked 60 as well. And he was, he was like, Deviant Human, I think his name was. Now he's a rank 120, and he's a Raditz Runner. Or, sorry, not Raditz Runner. Vegeta Runner. Uh, so, yeah. That's one of my losses. The other loss was because I was playing a Golden Ichigo. And he got glitched. And, uh, pretty much, uh, I let him hit me for form. Uh, because he was glitched. Even though he only got glitched on, like, a few HP. But, yeah, anyways... Um, so, I'm gonna be talking about how to play Kisuke. So, Kisuke has a very, very good moveset, um, as long as you know how to use it. Some people call it OP, but I'm also gonna tell you how to counter Kisuke, and then, I ha and then how to counter people who know how to counter Kisuke. So, first move we have, uh, Portable Giga. I think I did a showcase on this, so, Portable Giga, what is used for? Is when you're getting hit, when you're in a combo, and you're not stunned. So what I mean stunned is if, like, someone uses, like, a move to stun you. Or if you're block break stunned. Um, so you can't use this move while you're in those. But if you are in a combo and you're not, like, stunned by a move or by block break stunned. Um, then you can use Portable Gee Guide to flash out of the move. So let me show you what that looks like. So let me let this guy hit me. Okay, wait, hold up. Let me let him do a full combo on me, so... Like that. Boom. Easy. And it, look, the cooldown's pretty short as well. So it's a very, 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 very good move. I mean, you could also flash out of, like, multi-hit moves. So if, like, a move hit more, hits more than once, you could flash out of that, like, Shuriken or something. Next move is probably going to be your best move. Uh, it's Shumpo Slice. Why? Because it teleports. It's a block-breaking teleport move. So you come here, and you teleport. And it does, it does okay damage. Not that much damage, but... Kisuke doesn't really do that much damage... Uh, but yeah, also, if you're a Kisuke player, you're gonna have to take damage to deal damage, um, cause, like, while you're charging up Rokuko, Juro, or whatever, Shumpo Slice, people are gonna hit you, but then you're gonna do, deal even more damage. I'm also gonna get into combos later in the video, so, look, it's a teleporting, block-breaking move, and then you could combo in with this and just do whatever combos you like. Alright, so, <clears throat> the next move is blockable. But it's called Roku Riku Kojuro. Pretty much it just stuns them. And then you could go into combos from here. Um, last move. It's a uh, tracking move. Hien. Uh, it does okay damage. Uh, it's it's blockable. Um, what's good about it is that it's tracking. So it pretty much you can hit from wherever. By the way, this Kisuke is just like a good version of Rukia. Uh, so... Let's say, so what you could do is you can kind of, uh, like, when you're, like, above or behind, like, it can go, like, you can do it quick like that, so it's harder to uh, block or dodge. Um, so, yeah, those, those are how you use, like, all the moves and stuff. Um, also, quick thing to note, if the player is above you and you're using Shumpo Slice, it does not teleport to, to them. If the, but if the player is below you and you use Shumpo Slice like this, it does teleport to them. I can't really show, like, above because, you know, it doesn't really work uh, in here. Because there's no, like, no one can, like, there's no jumping dummy. But, yeah, also, let me show you the tracking on this. It's pretty epic. There we go. And as you see, it is blockable. It still does, like, 
zero damage and also yeah that's blockable as well so yeah let me let me show you guys a little quick combo got interrupted all right so <clears throat> combos uh uh the most obvious combo is uh most obvious combo is is using roku kojiro and then m winning and then using hien it's pretty easy and then they're probably gonna like can like dash out of that but if they don't then you could also combo them again another good combo is just m1s and he had another good combo on top of that is m1s shumpo slice and if they block the shumpo slice it block breaks them again and then you could do another four combos or another four hits into he n or just a regular hit now, some people may say, oh, well, can you just do one, two, three, four, Rokuko Jiro? You can do that, but it is blockable. So they could just block it. But if, if you manage to get that combo off, well, I mean, that is, it's really good. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much how to play Kisuke's uh, main form, or main little thing. Uh, by the way, your best chances of doing heavy damage, like heavy, heavy damage, are usually when someone tries to use a move. And their move is, like, lasting more than, like, I don't know, if, like, a second or something. And you, like, either portable geek guy out of it, or you dash out of it like that. And then what you can do is you can uh, hit them with a Hien, uh, maybe a Rokuko Juro, or a Shampo Slice, or something like that. And pretty much that's what you do, is you kind of dodge and then counter. That's Kisuke's main playstyle, is you dodge, counter, dodge, counter. Also, if their move doesn't do as much damage as your move, you could, what you can do is you can let them hit you like this, look. Kind of like you let them hit you like that, and then you go, kind of like that. So, he did more damage, or I did more damage to him than he did to me. So, yeah, and also you could be something like this, so look. If you're going like this, and you know, like, and you know, like, they, they, uh, they're not good at blocking when you're in the air and you do it, then yeah. Also, another thing is if they like sending you up into the air often, you can counter that with the shumpo slice, so kind of like this. And you can kind of go down. If they, if they, that only works if they rush at you, and then you kind of teleport down to shumpo slice. Otherwise, it probably won't work that well. Another good thing to do uh, is pretty much get hit a bit, then go like that, and then just use a move. So you can either use shumpo slice, rokuko juro, or uh, hien. They all work. They all work pretty well. Alright, so that's how you that's how you play his normal form. Now let's get into uh his actual form. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh you have pink cannon, which can be used from any range on the map. And it's also uh it like it's a uh, it's pretty much your hien. But it's pretty instant, it's blockable, does insane damage, and tracks. Then you have cry, which is also like a hien. But it block breaks. So it tracks, but it also block breaks on top of that. Then you got Kuo Shibiri. I don't really know how to say that. Use it. It's a faster version. Oh, I forgot it can be blocked. It's a faster version of Riku Kojuro. If that's how you say I don't know how to say these names, sorry. Um, except uh, it's way faster and it's way easier to hit. So literally, you could just be going like... Oh yeah, do that, oh blah blah blah, and then boom. And then you could hit them with the, like that, like into that, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much them dead. Also, uh, normal M1s are way faster, so that's pretty epic. So you do get the little, uh, the little hit thing, and I, I think, yeah, your attacks go way faster. So combo's pretty self-explanatory, you can just literally just do something as simple as this. Uh... Oh, well, that missed for some reason, but... Also, shield. Forgot about that. Pretty much, it's the same thing as Shumpo Slice, except it does damage. <laughs> so, yeah, so look. Let's see this guy attack me real quick. Oh, okay, then. Let me just wait until this thing's off. Like that, so it pretty much just blocks damage. Um, so, yeah. And also, it does damage, I think, sometimes. If the lasers hit the opponent, which they usually don't, then it does damage. So, that's pretty epic. Um, 
But yeah, it's it's a it's a Kisuke is a really good character. It's definitely a top tier character. So I mean, yeah, I I can't say it's any less than top tier. There's no way it's any less than top tier. Um, but yeah, that's how to play Kisuke. <clears throat> a bit of a showcase as well. It's kind of a more in depth showcase. Um, than my other showcase, but I mean, it's not really a showcase as well, because I'm actually showing, showing you guys how to play it. Um, and there's also other ways to play it. Like, I've seen people play other ways, but, uh, I've only met, like, a few Kisukes in the game, maybe, like, one or two or three. Uh, ones that I actually played in 1v1s, and if I'm using Kisuke and they're using Kisuke, I usually win, but we also end up usually doing the same moves, it's just I can... Either I can block better, or I can combo better, or I can dodge better, or one of those things. Um, so yeah, um, I can also make one of Minotaur, because I also main him. Uh, or not, well, I don't really main Minotaur, I'm just good with him, I don't actually play him. Um, I could do one on, like, T.S. Sasuke, I guess. Um, I don't know, Zoro. Uh, but yeah. Pretty much it for the video. Uh, by the way, only 3% of people are subscribed. It's a low number. Okay, it's a really low number. <laughs> Most YouTubers are complaining like, Oh, only 50% of you are subscribed. Well, buddy, please subscribe to me, because if 10% of people were subscribed, then I'd, ha I'd have a 1,000 subs, and that would pretty much turn this year into my least favorite year, my worst year, into like my fourth best year or third best year. Um, and that's kind of how I'm going to balance the year out and make it not my worst year. It's pro we're probably going to reach 1k, uh, before 2021. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. <sighs>